Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading The Remarried Empress episode 181. I am so excited because I see a warning sign and a few of you guys did warn me that oh it gets really good the next episode from one from episode 180 and a reminder to all you guys out there I honestly received a really mean comment lately and I just want to say I only do these readings for fun it is my way of practicing my English it got a it has gotten a lot better but I do this for fun I I don't expect anything I'm not like a voice actress but I love acting it out just for fun okay so if you guys are like don't like it check out other webtoons um, YouTube channels and stuff or read it yourself on webtoons.com but don't come on to my channel and be mean if you don't like it you can unsubscribe you can block my channel from appearing on your feed but you don't need to spread your hate there's kindness goes a long way not unkind to people are not welcome here okay cool we got it okay let's go ahead and get started warning this episode contains depictions of violence that may be upsetting for some readers oh the day is here okay it's kind of crazy that they do it like this where it looks like a gauntlet of water and back then in China back then with the dynasty this is also how they did it on um, to see if the child is the king's baby right so they would slice your little finger a little bit have a drop of blood and then they would do the same for the baby and if the blood merges that means that baby is yours and if it doesn't that means it has no relation to the king it's kind of crazy but this is probably magic or something. How can she hold her head up so high? She truly shameless. Uh, if she was going to betray me anyway and walk on eggshells around me, yeah. then why did she save me that day? It appears everyone is here. We shall now commence the parentage test. The Remarried Empress, episode 181. Please come closer. Use this dagger to draw some blood and drop some into the empty chalice. Ooh. Is she like frightened by that? But, but please do it for me, your majesty. What's that? It's like a scar? There, there. Oh, poor baby. Shh, don't cry. What? Huh? Her, her, her Highness. Her Highness, it's not his, his Majesty's daughter by blood. Piss. He is piss. <gasps> no, no, Your Majesty, no. <gasps> it's not true. This, this is outrageous. Indeed, what you did is outrageous. That is such a sinister look. Like the artist did such a great job. This is terrifying. 
bring him in. Isn't that... Isn't that Alan Rimwell? Isn't that the Viscount Lotatius' eldest son? Ooh. They beat him up. Why is he here? Test if the princess is this man's child. Oh, the princess is yours, your majesty. Let's do another test. Why don't you and I take another one? Uh, I have nothing to do with the princess, your majesty. I only saw Rashla again after she became your mistress. Do it. He didn't get a, a little prick, okay? He got slashed. They are abusing the crap out of him. No! You can't do this to me, your majesty. I'm still the empress. I swear, Elohim is your real daughter. No! This is an insult to me! Her, her Highness, Her Highness is that man's child, Your Majesty. <gasps> no! You know I would never bear the child of a pathetic man like him. Now when I have you, Gloria is indisputably your daughter. She's your one and only daughter! Oh dear, has a test already concluded? I heard the mother and father of the child I was entrusted with are both here, so I came to return him. Duke Ergi? In! Whoa there. Both his mother and father are here. Ah, that's right. The child is the one the Empress had with Viscount Lotatius' son, isn't he? Goodness, the two children look so much alike. Are both of them the children of Viscount Lotatius' son? How dare she pass off the illegitimate child of a noble as a princess? I feel bad for the Empress Navier, who suffered humiliation because of someone like her. Why? Why is everything falling apart like this? Why did he come here with a child when I said to take him far away? I can't. I can't let him take me down like this. This isn't right, your majesty. I beg you, test again. How many times are you going to humiliate me? <gasps> you must also test a child the Duke brought, your majesty. We must check to see if Empress Rasha really deceived you. Where are the Empress' parents? We must check the Empress' bloods, too. Bring Viscount Ishka and his wife here. Huh? No, no matter what people say, you're a princess to me. I'll protect you, Your Highness. I am at loss for words here. That poor baby. Like, I know this whole thing is happening. They realize the baby is not actually the emperor's. But, wow. So that means Ian and Glorium are actually siblings. Unless someone the blood that they drew from or they did something to pretty much taint it or fake fake the parentage test or to divert it. i don't know i don't know how they could do it but is it possible that they is a whole fake out like someone just uh, someone just trying to make sure the baby gets pulled away from emperor sovashu like on purpose i don't know like i'm so at loss like for words like i don't know it's that's crazy 
like you know we had a hunch like hey there's a chance that this baby's not you know so they shoes but but to be like alan's child i don't know like i thought they only did it once and once you like gave birth to ian they never touched again right like this only just feels very fishy right there, you know? So I'm going to be questioning it. Of course, I don't really read these episodes ahead. Like, I don't really pay um, to advance to a different, like, episode and pay, you know, pay, I don't know what's called, coins or tokens or whatever. So I'm just reacting the moment it came out. And this is shocking. Ah, uh, that's my rant. Okay. Wow, no spoilers, of course. Uh, you guys can spoil for me, but remember to if you guys gonna spoil it, put spoiler alert, then space like you know enter enter, and then put it so other people can avoid spoilers, especially people who do not want it. Um, but oh my gosh, how did you guys felt when you got when y'all read this? Like, I am so shocked. But the next part is, I don't know who this is. Who wore this hat? It's not Ergi. Who is that? Hold on. I'm trying to figure out who is that. Who is this person who wore a hat? Yeah, so it's not him. So it has to be someone who like held this baby. Is it like the Emperor's like right hand man? Trying to figure out. So like he looks kind of psychotic, you know? Like he's like, I will protect you, your highness. Like who is that? It has to be her. Okay, that's the maid. So this is my hunch, okay? I think they got... So Duke Ergie pro probably hired that maid to do all this mess, right? And... They're, I don't know. They did a switcheroo. Got <clears throat> Anne's blood. So when the priest got like Lauren's, you know, blood drawn, they swapped it within. And so when they dropped the blood, <clears throat> it obviously gonna connect Alan with Rashta with, you know, together with the baby's blood, making it look like it's Gloriam's, but it's actually Anne's blood. And then obviously when they did it for Sovetio and Rashta with the babies, it didn't go together because it was in his blood, right? Yeah. And the maid's gonna end up taking care of this baby, but the truth is the baby is actually so they shoes. That's my hunch. That's my hunch. But it's just like it doesn't make sense because Alan and Rashta were not together after she gave birth to Ian, who she thought was gone, was not alive because her master tossed a fake dead baby it's a real baby but it's not really her baby uh so she thought her baby actually passed away and since then they haven't touched each other like alan and rashta so it would not make sense that you know she would be pregnant again and plus rashta is too like she's too she's a dit, right she's so confident that this is sovacious baby like you know like, she would not be confident enough to walk into this thing and not think she would be, you know, in big trouble for lying. So, I think this baby really is his. And Duke Ergi and this maid are working together. Okay, anyways, I've been rambling for like five, six minutes because I'm just so shocked. Okay, anyways, it's such a great episode, guys. If you guys enjoy the way I read and reacted and see how my brain just like jumbled everywhere, uh, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all felt about all of this, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!